Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. Lots of fun with Jim Rutherford. And again, we thank him for uh, coming on and telling us what's what. Ah, love it. Today's guest, Friday, including Jim Rutherford, including Craig Button, who's standing by, brought to you by Langley Chrysler. Enjoy no hassle three day returns and 30 day exchanges on all used vehicles so you can make sure what you get is just right for you in one of the largest inventories in BC. Don't just love your car, love buying it at LangleyChrysler.com as we bring in for a final time in this go round of Donnie and Dolly, TSN Scouting Director, our friend Craig Button. How are you, sir? This go around. So, are you telling me this is just a weekly, daily go around? Yeah, well, it is the broadcast business, Craig. So you you don't know the, these days, as you know. Uh, we're going to be around for a while, as we uh, found out earlier yeah. this week. We'll yeah, we'll get into Good that news. A, a little bit uh, later. Um, th- thank you very much. Appreciate it, um, Johnny Goodrow. What's he going to do? And and we we talked and talked about why he went from Calgary to Columbus. There's that. Maybe we'll get to that. But what do you think he's going to do for the Blue Jackets on the ice? Sounds like he's going to have a whole lot of fun. And it looks like he's been looking forward to having a lot of fun playing in Columbus. Hmm. Like, and, and I, I don't know where winning comes into this. I don't know where there competing you for high-end success comes into it. But he made it for the key. He always thought it would be a fun place to play. Well, go have fun, Johnny. If I'm the Calgary Flames, and hey, listen, Johnny Goudreau is a terrific player. I'm not, I'm not here to denigrate Johnny Goudreau. But if I'm the Calgary Flames, and you make that offer, and he's told you, hey, I want to be close to family, you you respect that, and Brad Trey Living did that, and you do everything you can, and there's you get to a point, you go, but now with him going to Columbus, okay, great. Like, if I'm the Calgary Flames, not only are we moving on, but thanks for letting us know that you want to go and have fun in Columbus because we want to compete for Stanley Cups. Did that move take you by surprise like everybody else, Craig? You're in Calgary. Complete surprise, Donnie. You know, like, I mean, you, you, when Brad Trey Living comes out and says on, on, on the eve of free agency, hey, we did everything we could, but we respect Johnny, wants to be near his family. And, and, and you do respect that. And keep in mind, it's free agency. So players are free to do whatever they want, regardless of whether I think they should be here or other people think he should be there or whatnot, right? But, I mean... Brad Trillian had lots of in-depth conversations with with Johnny and his his agent. And, okay, we respect you. You want to go close to home. And now you end up in Columbus. I, hey, listen, I get the excitement of Yarmo Kekalane and the Blue Jackets fans. But this is a team that is not even close to competing for, for, the, for the playoffs, let alone playoff success. One playoff round they've won in their entire existence. You know, so if you're going home, go home. Mm-hmm. But if you're not going home, why wouldn't you stay in Calgary? Bottom line is complete shocker. If you, if I'm going to speculate here, I'm going to guess that the music was beginning to stop, and Johnny Goudreau started to think, "Oh, is there going to be a chair left for me?" Hmm. He should have just phoned back to Calgary and said, "Can I come back to Calgary?" That's what I would have been doing. So, Craig, what do you do now if you're Calgary? You've lost uh, essentially, you know, uh, your franchise player. So you got to get Kachuk done. You got a little bit of money to play with. Do you, do you spend it all now? Like, what would you do, Craig, to to, to rectify this problem? Okay, so you, I think Rick, you've nailed it. Okay, and I've got to tell you, love the shirt. Like, love the shirt. Like, I I am glad I didn't try today to come in with any type of uh, style of shirt because. <laughs> You you would have you would have buried me. It would have been like Muhammad Ali standing over Sonny Liston, like you're just done buried. Thank and, you. And so, g- great look there. Anyway, uh, but I digress and I get back on track. You know, you you okay? So it's a problem, right? So Brad Trailering's job and his management group is okay. What are the solutions to the problem? And and it's not one solution. There's multiple solutions. There's solutions we can all dream up. Free agency, make this trade, make that trade. There's going to be a lot of options, number one, when you have cap space. You know, we, we've talked, you guys have talked about the Vancouver Canucks trying to get cap space, teams trying to get cap space. Well, the Calgary Flames have cap space. So when you have that, you can entertain a lot of different uh, opportunities and, and have a lot of different discussions. It doesn't have to be addressed today. It doesn't have to be addressed tomorrow. But 
you you understand okay here's where we're at and now let's take our time when i say take our time i'm not saying september you got to get moving on there's going to be teams that are losing out on players there's going to be teams that are looking to exchange players what opportunities can present themselves that can make your team better they have a top-notch goaltender their blue line absent now eric branson is still a really good blue line they have some really good forwards offensive depth and offensive frontline players with matthew kachuk i think immediately they got to get the matthew kachuk situation addressed and and understand what does that mean one way or the other either he signs long term or they're going to have to explore that too so there's some there's some options here for the calgary flames they know what the problem is and now with cap space, you now can look at a lot of different areas to improve your team. And I think that's exactly what they'll do. And I think that they'll find a way to be successful. Okay, Craig, we just had Jim Rutherford on. He just snapped at Donnie and I. Okay, so the JT Miller, he's saying, look, the urgency is until the trade deadline. Everybody in this city wants JT Miller gone, Craig. And Jim is saying, whoa, hold on. He's a 99-point player. I don't have to get rid of him right now. Where's your head at with uh, J.T. Miller? Well, you've heard me say it time and time again. J.T. Miller has massive value. Number one, with his on-ice productivity. Number two, with his contract. And if you want to get J.T. Miller, you know what? You're going to have to pay a price. You're going to have to pay a significant price. Jim Rutherford should, in my view, if I'm Jim, I'm doing exactly what he's doing. Exactly what he's doing. I'm trading you on my terms. And, you know, one of the things is, Jim Rutherford goes and trades JT Miller now, and it's not a good trade. He's going to hear about it all. Oh, how can you make that trade? That's a bad trade. You know, you want teams to come in there and drive the price up. And Jim Rutherford, with his massive amounts of experience as a manager in this league and understanding, he knows how to drive prices. And if the price isn't right there right now for what they're looking for, there is absolutely no pressure to trade him now, nor should he feel that pressure. And he just told you he doesn't feel that pressure. Yep. Make the right deal on your time. JT Miller has massive value in two areas. And everybody's looking for cap space and contracts that fit in and high-end players. JT fits both those. Okay, Mr. Scouting Director, what did the Canucks get in Ilya Mikheyev? Well, they got speed. And, and, and Ilya Mikheyev has disruptive speed. Yeah, you know, one of the things, you know, you need balance in your lineup. You need offensive ability. You need defensive ability. You need good goaltending. But you need a balance. And you also need depth down your lineup and speed in different areas. I call it push back and back up speed. You want to push back uh, opponents and be able to push the play into their direction. You want to back up opponents. And, and that's why I use the word disruptive to be able to – Get them unsettled. That's, I mean, Ilya is a great penalty killer because of that speed. He can disrupt things. He can force you into mistakes, uh, you know, on the four check. And those are real qualities that can benefit a team. He's going to get a lot of scoring chances. He's not a natural goal scorer, but he's a, he, he'll score 20 because he gets so many opportunities. If you want to, if you want to improve your team and get balance in your lineup, you you get that with Ilya Mikheyev. I, I I think it's a terrific step in the right direction. Curtis Lazar, another player with lots of speed, and he can disrupt you, and he can add a little bit of a physical element to your team. So you know you're trying to improve your speed. You better get players that can not just skate fast, yeah. but use it effectively. You know, it, it, there's only one scenario under which you're going to be able to you know, scale things significantly in a direction of offensive acumen. That's if everything lines up perfectly. You get entry-level players coming in and performing offensively at, at, at a rate that is unexpected. Hmm. You know, th that might be once in a 25 or 30-year span. So that's why you need balance. They have the offensive uh, capability, adding speed with Mikheyev and Lazar, I think are real strong moves for the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, one player, and we just talked to Jim Rutherford uh, about him, and one player that people in this market don't know a whole lot about that the Canucks just signed is Dakota Joshua. What does he bring to the Canucks organization, Craig? He's on a one-way contract. Yeah, well, you know, one, keep in mind what one-way contracts are. I mean, the, 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 you start to look at, okay, what are we counting on uh, Dakota to, to bring in? You, you look at it and go, okay, he'll play this many games for us. He, he, he's a depth forward. That's what Dakota is. Can he play 30 games? Can he play 40? 
you know, so you start to look at the cost of that. Then you start to say, okay, well, if we have them in the minors, what's the cost of having that? And what it adds up to is the one-way contract that he just signed. And, you know, you need depth in your lineup. He, he, he's got that length. He, he's got the ability to chip in a little bit from different areas of the lineup. But if you don't have depth and, and you don't have a defined area of depth, and, and the, what hmm. Dakota brings is some, some skating ability. He'll get some offensive opportunities. He's not, not going to be a real top-end offensive finisher. But when you give the coach, Bruce Boudreaux, an opportunity to put in some players that, that have a definition to their game, and that's what Dakota has, when you're trying to fill an injury, trying to change up your lineup a little bit, that's what Dakota offers. And, and the one-way contract, it really does fit because you're going to end up paying them uh, you know, uh, uh, you've already planned on paying him a certain amount of money on his NHL contract because you're counting on him playing a certain amount of games. Yeah, uh, Jim Rutherford said bottom six. What's what's on tap for the summer for Craig Button? What's going on? Well, uh, uh, my oldest daughter's getting married at the end oh, of the Oh, August, congratulations. So that's, Congrats. Yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Uh, her, her fiancé, great guy. I, I have a big problem, though. My daughter's a huge Flames fan, uh -oh. and her fiancé, John, is a huge Oilers fan. So uh -oh. I feel like I'm a referee between the <laughs> battle. Anyway, but it's a fun time. But but we have the Holinka tournament coming up at the end All of right. July into early August, and then we have the redo of the World Junior Tournament. So you know what? My summer is really going to begin post wedding, which is at the end of August. And, you know, September will be a time to, to really kick back and maybe uh, get out and uh, leave Calgary and spend uh, some time elsewhere. But uh, up until that point in time, uh, you know, I'm still pretty busy, but I'm finishing up with Stampede in the next three days. And uh, it's, uh, it's been energetic down there. I got there down there yesterday, real energetic, uh, Kids and families out at the Stampede really enjoying the time. Well, say, say hi to Kevin Costner for us, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> or, or is well, he left town? Like, <laughs> well, I'm just going to send him a text and just tell him, hey, can I uh, get together with you this afternoon? Donnie and Rick want to say hi. <laughs> uh, Craig, I'm going to miss you up. Uh, I, I, you're one of the favorite people. Uh, I, I love listening to talk hockey. I'm going to miss updates on Jet Wu and Ethan Bear, but we'll get back to those two guys in September. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know what, Rick? Here's what I say. I mean, you guys treat me so well. I love joining you on a weekly mm. basis. Uh, it really is. It's, I, I, I'm not just saying this. It's a highlight. I always want to make time. I try to limit where I go other places because I want to give you everything I got. But you guys are fantastic. And you know what? Like at the at the end of the day, your passion uh, for the Canucks and for hockey in general is fantastic. And I, I love uh, joining you and being part of it. So thank you and. Look forward to uh, jumping back in with you. And, hey, do you know why you guys have such good news to, to announce? It's because you guys are damn good, and uh, people recognize that. So uh, good on you, and enjoy your time until our, until our paths cross once again. Right back at you, Craig. Thanks so much. Always fun. Have a, have a, it's going to be short for you, but have a great summer. Thank you.